Hello everyone and welcome back. This battle here is a 2v2 we did right after the 3v3. Falcon 22 over here was nice enough to join us for the second one. Over here we also have India Pride in the blue, Madness 969 in the white, of course me here in the red and pink. We're doing a 2v2 as I said. Madness is on my team over here and Falcon and India Pride are on the other side. We're here at Bay of Many Faces which I've kind of realized isn't actually a great map in the team battles. It sort of pigeonholes you into fighting on your one little side and uh, it's just this map I think is best played 1v1 where you have a large field to work with you get interesting cav battles down by this building here and it's overall much better but it can still work okay as we find out here uh, we're actually starting us about five minutes into the game as Madness really wanted to fight Andy Pride so we switched sides and Falcon was kind enough to hold off on advancing until I was in position and ready to go so in this battle I'm bringing six katana samurai mostly pretty well vetted out as well. One matchlock Ashigaru, as I feel that I'd probably be fighting this canyon here in a matchlock and do pretty well there, along with the two bow samurai, two Yari samurai, and six light cavalry. Now if you watch the last video that I did, that 3v3, I kind of mentioned how the light cavalry support can actually work really badly if you get caught in a cavalry engagement. That's going to come up badly here. And Normally I'd be able to support it pretty well with spears, but that didn't actually end up working out because of other circumstances as well, but I guess I will get to that as we're now advancing on the middle here. Looking over Falcon's side, he's got some Nodachis and Katanas up here in the front, similar to what he brought in the last battle, but this Yari Ashigaru spear line ended up being very, very important in this battle. He's also got two bows, an Ashigaru and a monk, who just tore me to pieces. I was going to try and initially skirmish with the matchlocks up here. Probably wasn't the best idea. Maybe I should have sent my bow samurai forward first to just sort of, you know, get the field and start shooting and then bring the matchlocks up because these guys got torn apart and actually didn't get a single shot off. So it's actually bad on my part to send them up so early. And then, of course, with me trying to shoot, for some reason they rarely ever shoot with me. They just kind of run up and just keep running and they never shoot. I don't know why it does that for me all the time. But anyway, they're going to get chased off the field without firing a shot. And that's when my bow samurai are going to come up as well. So now I'm facing this predicament here. We're in this narrow canyon and there are two spear uh, Yari Shigaru here up in the front in spear wall. Um, a few things about my choice here. Number one, I just spent five minutes walking my troops over to this side of the map and I was pretty impatient. If you know me, you know that I'm very impatient and just wanted to make a frontal assault at this point, so here I go. I also thought that being fresh Yari Shigaru, I'd be able to get through them pretty quickly and they wouldn't be very much of an obstacle at all and that I could probably slip a unit or two through the cracks and get behind them. So here we go and another big mistake here which ties into my light cavalry is I was bringing my Yari Samurai up too and like I said I was pretty impatient so uh, I should have timed this a lot better. My Yari Samurai were way back here and I wanted them to actually make the initial assault against the Yari Shigaru and take the brunt of that because I didn't really have any cavalry to fear as this guy uh, Falcon only had two units and I down a monk cavalry. So I was going to send the Yari Samurai up first and then follow up with the Katana Samurai, but I was too impatient and my Katanas got their way before the Yaris and uh, ended up being a big mistake on my part as well. And all the while the Bow Warrior Monks are tearing into my guys pretty hard. Uh, they have a great shooting angle here up on this little hill. Very tough to deal with. So being very tight quarters, I thought I would be able to get through this no problem uh, and cut through these Yaris, but they ended up being way more resilient than I gave them credit for. So bring in, I also didn't get off a very good charge, which is not good at all. But I did manage to get one of these katanas through here and get around the Yari Ashigaru, though Falcon did a good job of getting his infantry up there to support his Yari Ashigaru. I also brought a bandit to this battle just for the heck of it, and they're uh, moving up here, still hidden, to make their attack. I, I really want to like bandits. I'm sorry. I just love them. Uh, actually make that three cavalry units. I think I said two. They're actually three. Knocking down among cavalry. Again, six light cavalry. And if you remember what I said last time, light cavalry, if you just bring light cavalry, they can get torn apart in cat battles, and unfortunately they're completely isolated. And that's pretty much what's going to happen here. Uh, since I dedicated my Yari Samurai to the infantry battle, if I had actually moved up my cavalry slowly with the Yari Samurai, I could have tied these cavalry units down and torn them apart from my Yari Samurai and light cavalry. But unfortunately, I just didn't have any Yari Samurai disposal, so. What I was going to try and do is send the cavalry here and then flank with one or two units and try and just get a big morale shock and chase off this cavalry, but it did not quite work. Also bring my melee general into the fight. Finally, that Yari Samurai goes and the rest of my troops can flood through. This one holding up quite well, still the 100 men, but there's just not enough room for my general to maneuver. Ends up getting caught up with the Katana Samurai and just never gets a very good charge off. But it's still fairly looking okay for me as I got, I got the numbers here and... Uh, 
I still got my general, of course. Fire cavalry coming out to support, but unfortunately my cavalry attack ended up just kind of not happening. I was way too busy focusing on the infantry side of the battle and left this guy out. I meant to uh, micro him a little more, but uh, by the time I got to it, the cavalry battle was pretty much already completely lost. So I'm just running him through and trying to get to the rear in the infantry battle to help him out. So anyway, the bows are still just tearing into me. Boashkar and the bow monks here. My bows as well are up in the front and not doing very much damage. They have a terrible, terrible shooting angle. Uh, being way back there behind the infantry and that little hill really covering us troops quite well. So meanwhile, my general's at 22 men and hasn't done really any damage at all. Again, just no room to maneuver here. Especially that building in the way really messes things up. I wish I could run straight through, but unfortunately, you can't. And again, it's just a big grind fest at this point, but this side of the battle, in fact, one of my katana samurais has already routed along with the Yari samurai. Uh, so this side is just getting torn up by these Nodachis and Katanas. This side's doing a lot better, uh, but still not great. They are taking quite a few casualties. You see a little wavering there on the Yari Ashigaru, but once this chunk goes here, he's going to be able to just move his troops over to the bigger chunk and take me out. The Light Cavalry manages to make it through his attendants and to the front. Had a little bit of glitchy movement there, but they do make it, not getting a good charge off though. It does cause some wavering, but unfortunately for me, look at this awful luck. My general dies to a bow warrior monk. Are you kidding me? bro. Really? I, t I keep telling people I have terrible luck with my general. This is why. He has six hit points. He's a melee and a physical general. There's still 13 men in this unit, and he dies to a bow warrior monk. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? I hate generals in this game. Mine always just... hes I guess he's just classic Japanese. Like He just wants to find an honorable death. I keep telling him he needs to live so he can have an honorable victory, but he prefers to die. And that's just how we roll. So my general's dead, and that pretty much screws me at this point. Not to mention there's a big cavalry attack coming here after my light cavalry completely swept off the field. And I'm pretty much screwed at this point. That whole chunk goes. This one's doing a little better holding out, and I do get some Yari Samurai. who still have 80 men back here to stop this cav attack. But with my general being dead, I'm pretty much out of this one. The infantry is going to come up that was on this chunk, and Falcon's going to clean up the rest of my forces here. Not a very good place for me to be fighting. Uh, Katana Corps usually do quite well here, but with that botched cavalry attack um, and that spear wall, just I did not expect it to be that much of a problem being fresh Yari Ashigaru. I thought it would cut right through it, but that was not to be. As the rest of my forces here will get cleaned up. Made quite a few mistakes in that battle, too. Got really impatient. Definitely one of my big faults, and uh, but that's what happens when those things happen. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Congratulations there to Falcon22 for beating me on the field of battle. Really great job here. Uh, great macro play, really, from him. Uh, it was a good army to bring on this map, and uh, noticing my cavalry was here and being like cavalry uh, was a really great choice of strategy. Just bring his cavalry here and have a cab battle. Just totally called me on it and ended up winning. So congratulations to him. Thanks for watching, everybody.